In this lecture, I will explain the form factor and we will calculate it for half wave rectifier circuit. But first, I will explain the significance of RMS value. The significance of RMS value. In the last lecture, we saw how to calculate the RMS load current and RMS load voltage, but we skipped the significance part. So first, I will explain the significance of RMS value, then we will move to the form factor. The RMS value is the equivalent of DC value. For example, a lamp connected to 5 volt RMS supply will shine with the same brightness when it is connected to the 5 volt DC supply. If we connect a lamp to the 5 volt RMS AC supply, then it will shine with the same brightness if we connect it to the 5 volt of DC supply. The RMS value is always smaller than or equal to the peak value. The RMS value is always smaller than or equal to the peak value. I hope you now have the clear understanding of what is RMS value. Now we will move to the form factor. It is defined as the ratio of RMS load voltage, RMS load voltage and average load voltage. So the form factor, the form factor is equal to the VRMS the RMS load voltage divided by V average. So this is how we calculate the form factor and this is the definition for form factor but what is the use of form factor? Form factor is used to give information about the waveform. Form factor is simply used to give information about the waveform but nowadays it is not mostly used. Form factor is always greater than or equal to 1. Form factor is always greater than or equal to 1 because the RMS value because the RMS value is always greater than or equal to the average value and when they are same the form factor is equal to 1 and in other cases form factor is greater than 1 let's try to find out the form factor for half wave rectifier we already know we already know the RMS value of load voltage is equal to VM VM divided by 2 and the average value of load voltage is equal to Vm divided by pi. So form factor, form factor is equal to Vm divided by 2 divided by Vm divided by pi or it is equal to pi by 2. Pi is 3.14 divided by 2. So finally we have 1.57 as the value of form factor for half wave rectifier and you can see it is greater than 1 it is greater than 1 if we have a square wave if we have a square wave like this in case of a square wave in case of a square wave the rms value of voltage is equal to vm vm is the peak voltage and the average and the average load voltage is also equal to Vm so form factor form factor is equal to Vm by Vm and it is equal to 1 so form factor is always greater than or equal to 1 and from this result from this result we can say that the RMS value of load voltage is equal to 1.57 times 1.57 times of the average load voltage this is what we can derive from the obtained result the form factor is equal to 1.57 this means the VRMS the RMS value of load voltage is equal to 1.57 times of V average the average value of load voltage I will end this lecture here this was all that you need to know about the form factor in the next lecture we will discuss ripple factor ripple factor I will explain what is ripple factor and we will also derive the formula for the ripple factor. So this is all. See you in the next one.